The House on Cold Hill is a classic ghost story, but actually very modern as well. It actually came about because I lived in the very haunted house that The House on Cold Hill is, is based on. His books are such page turners. So when you translate that onto the stage, it's compelling. Yeah, the audience are just sitting there waiting to see what the setup is, where they're being led. What's going to happen next? The story is based about a family who buy this house, but it has been empty for some time. And then slowly, from the people in the village, they start to learn about the history of the house. And I'm not telling you any more than that. It's a modern thriller um, with hints of a ghost story in there. Alexa's in there, Facebook's in there. It's very much set today, so it's really current. And relatable. It happens to have a very strong supernatural element with some really great scary moments and some big shocks for the audience. But at its heart, it's every much a thriller as any of my Roy Grace novels. So I think the audiences will come away going, I didn't expect that. Well, we're hoping that there'll be as thrilled as we were when we first read it and a little bit scared and obviously entertained.